Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And this is gonna be a weekend vlog. It is uh, Friday, March 28th. And just a reminder, I film about a week ahead. Um, out and about this morning, I dropped a bag at the consignment store. I cashed out at the consignment store. I had over $200, $205 there. Excuse me, where's my voice going? Went to uh, recycle a bunch of cardboard and now I am at Sam's Club and, whoa! I'm gonna drop you guys, sorry. Um, even though it's not 10 o'clock yet when they open, I have a plus membership so I can get in earlier. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in and get what I need to get. Um, Papa's doing great. He had a cortisone shot um, in his hip on Wednesday. And yesterday he was really walking well. Uh, today he's walking well. So I'm like, oh please God, let us be on the right path and get back to him being mobile, just just him being able to get up and go to the bathroom on his own is a huge, huge, huge thing. I mean, he can he can do the bathroom stuff on his own, but I mean, just getting up and down the chair and from bed and back and forth. I'm still with him, you know, I'm still, I'm like, don't be going around, walking around by yourself because he's, he tips back on the, he you know, he's always leaning back, which is why he falls back. So trying to therapists and are trying like you gotta you know you gotta be leaning forward on the walker a bit so we're working on that but um yeah I'm just like oh please he starts at the pain clinic um next week so we just need to get this pain under control and get him back to um being um independent as much as he can be um at least inside the house so oh, hoping and praying so anyway it's been a long, 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 long road. First we went through the hip and we just gotten to, you know, kind of recovered from the hip. Then he falls again and now, you know, the back, but it's been the pain in the leg and it has just been a lot since um, December. <laughs> so we're going into April. Let's hope April can, things can calm down. That would just be, oh, I need it. We all need it. It's been a rough road, but anyway, um, yeah, gonna head into Sam's before the rest of the general population is allowed in. Maybe I can get done before they come in. Probably not, because it's Sam's Club, and you gotta look around and look at stuff, right? At least I do. Secret addiction. This edible cookie dough. I tried it last time. This stuff is amazing. We have an edible cookie dough shop in our area, and I'm sorry, local owned business, but this stuff is 100 times better. So, yeah. I highly, highly, highly recommend <laughs> this stuff. Arlo, if you want to be addicted, don't buy it because it's addictive. Y'all, y'all, I'm gonna go all Southern talking about jelly beans. These suckers, I mean, I'm, I would never think of myself as a jelly bean person, but these suckers are addictive. I wanted a big bag because I'm gonna get my um, uh, Easter stuff out and decorate with it. What's different? Oh, these are the red ones. Which one should I get? Red? Original. Red? Original. Oh dear. What to do? Or maybe I should get both. I think I have a big jar and I can put them in and that'll be a really cool centerpiece. Uh, yep, I just got two five pound bags of jelly beans. I did. I did. Judge me. I don't care. I bought these the last time I was here. I need to get my Easter stuff out so I can decorate with candy. I also got this. I don't really, wasn't really a fan of the Reese's eggs, but I got it because of the Cadbury's. Because I like to hoard Easter candy, because it's the best candy ever as we make the turn. And oh my gosh, let's see what else they have. And I got the Easter M&Ms, because I have a jar for those. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, these are cute, 30 bucks. Ooh, that's kind of a lot. These are 20 here. I mean, obviously you can make your own bags cheaper, but if you're short on time and you just want to do that. Ooh, chocolate bunnies. A two-pack. Only $5.98. What a deal. Here's a Sam's Club <laughs> trunk haul. Although half these are still in my car because I can't fit them in my trunk. I get the Puffs Plus with lotion. Um, the members mark napkins, which is their brand. Raisin Bran Crunch for, Raisin Bran Crunch for Papa. Piper towels. My dogs love these. Love, 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 love them. Antibacterial wipes. The members mark brand because they're just like Clorox and they're like way cheaper. Two things of water. The two things of jelly beans. Doritos for tacos. Here you need batterings for Papa. Two things of the cookie dough. Yes, I did. And laughing cow cheese. So I still need to pop into a regular grocery store for some other stuff. And I need a new car. Hopefully get a new car this summer because the trunk space in this 
it's a great car. This car's lasted a long time, but I need more room. Um, got a wheelchair in the back seat, walkers I need to carry around, I need more trunk space. So Ugh, when everything gets settled down with Papa, I'm gonna go start over to the Honda dealership and test drive some cars. Guys, I'm at Burger King. <gasps> Caramel frappes are back. I'm getting one for Papa. He's gonna be so happy. Ah! It's the little things. Okay, back home now. It's actually after lunch. Papa and the pugs are napping. Um, I had two eBay orders. This is a vintage beer hat. I don't know what it is. Um, and then a pair of Paul Miller, Peter Miller, Peter Millar swim trunks. Um, both of these sold for $23.99. Uh, they do have free shipping on them and they're both going to go via first class. Everyone, it's now Saturday and I'm starting off the day really well on eBay. I have 10 orders. Um, total $142. I did start up a 30% off sale on a lot of stuff last night and 10% um, on some newer stuff and then some I don't even have anything marked down. Um, let it ride a little bit. But I don't know. I still need to knock those big discounts in. So anyway, um, this little, what is it? Yoki, yokai toy. I got these at Dollar Tree a couple years ago. Um, still whittling down. I wouldn't even have them still listed if my consignment store took plush, but they don't. So it's either sell them on eBay or not get anything. This is like a vintage, it's not like a, it is a vintage bridge card game set. This is Raspberry Tart, one of Strawberry Shortcake's little friends. This is a Denim & Co. It's a suede leather jacket, 3X. I was hoping for more on this, but now we're getting out of season, so glad to see it go. This is, same thing with this. It's a Land's End um, fleece vest. It's a 1X. And then two Life is Good shirts sold. These are both extra large, which has so far been the most popular size. I wish I had more of the, I wish I could just get, you know, but when you do liquidation, you're going to get a mixed lot, but that's okay. Sold two of those. Free shipping on both of these. The other two items I sold are actually up in my office because I just listed them. They're part of the drugstore liquidation lot. I sold two CoverGirl lip products for $16.99 um, and then the Proactive Skincare set. I can't, the problem with the, that was that it was past its expiration. Not that it matters, I've sold ex, you know past expiration um, proactive before, but had to knock down the price. But I still got a good price out, I just can't remember exactly what it was. But anyway, great start to the day. I have been down here working on my lots. I need to get labels uh, going. Um, so those are box lots that I'll be saving up to sell, which is really kind of what I would like to do just in general with eBay. Um, lots. I know it doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes people just want to buy things individually, but focusing on smaller items. I would love to get everything here. All the old stuff, all the vintage stuff, everything that's been listed for ages. I would love to just blow it out in the next couple months. Um, I got a lot of it. Obviously, the Christmas probably wouldn't, but yeah, I just need to focus on um, things that are easier, you know, like liquidation stuff, um, that sell a little faster than the vintage. And if it is vintage, it's got to be small, cheap, and maybe just to go in a lot. I would hate to not be able to go to the estate sales anymore, but, um, my dad is doing better today, but you just don't know what the future is going to be. And some days, like he did really well the last two days, he's doing well today, but now his leg is really hurting. So I can't count on getting out to source vintage and secondhand clothing. I just can't say that, okay, this week I'm going to be able to do this and this. I can't do that anymore, at least right now. So I've got to adjust things. So anyway, I need to get some labels on these boxes so I know what I have and go upstairs and get this stuff shipped. Oh, when I said I sold um, two lipsticks, it was these NYX um, eye duos. I put these two together and sold them for $16.99 with free shipping. So this is kind of how I'm sending them. We're going to bag them, then we'll put them in a poly bag. Um, top of that, so they can go first class. So yay, finally starting to see some of the drugstore liquidation go. I'm really happy once I dug into it and saw what I had and started researching, I'm really happy with that lot. Initially when I was doing the unboxing, I was like, well, I don't know if this is even, but once I sorted it, got it all through, really happy um, with 
that and definitely be looking for more uh, drugstore liquidation in the future. You and Charlie. Charlie's been so happy. It's been nicer. He can be out here with his ball. It's cold today though, but he loves that ball, that wiggle giggle ball. I think it's listed in my Amazon store, which is linked below the video. I have like all my eBay supplies, my books, my um, just household favorites. I think it's in there. So you can go and check out my Amazon storefront if you want to get that ball because he loves this thing. And I was raking yesterday of all these branches after the winter when the snow melts, the things you uncover under the lawn. So I've been trying to rake all the branch stuff over here so I can get it in the, um, what is it? The yard waste bin. Oh, honey, he cries and barks at the thing. You're in the middle of the sticks now, buddy. Honestly, I've been taking the largest branches and then chucking them over the fence so I don't have to deal with it. And then when it really warms up, I need to put grass seed over there, so really like to get some nice patio furniture this year just like lounge stuff to come out right buddy are, is your ball huh are you too cold should we go inside everyone else wants to be inside but you you like to be out here don't you it's your favorite you want me to throw the ball you want me to throw the ball okay here 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 <gasps> go get it go get it <laughs> he definitely needs the exercise it's just a brutal winter he hasn't been able to be out so he wants to be out here and play, I'll let him. Okay, it is Saturday after dinner and I have another $86 in sales. It's crazy how busy it is, it's awesome. Um, this is part of the drug stock, drugstore lot. I don't know, oh, it's so quick. Same with this stuff, this lot of two number seven um, serums. One of the rings from the jewelry lot, it's like a blue, topaz and then this is a vintage dar tray um all these will ship for free this is the one that's going to bite me in the butt because it's going to have to go in a box and it's an odd size but um i've had it forever i'm just glad to move it because again i don't think the consign well i know the consignment store would not take this so it's either make a few bucks on it on ebay or it's a loss so Glad to get something and all these sales even the small ones are keeping my store super active it is now sunday and i have five ebay orders to start the day total of 67 dollars, and that does have free shipping so not a lot but i'm really blowing out the secondhand clothing that i have listed so i'd already marked it down then it went to 30 percent off and this is because um most of it's the long sleeve win fall winter stuff that I can't take to the consignment store. Um, I could have taken this Tommy Bahama, but whatever. Um, so we got a Lauren Conrad blouse, a um, Liz Claiborne denim blazer, men's Tommy Bahama, and then this is a Romans 30W. So four more pieces gone. And then um, a pack of four of the Fixident that came in that drugstore box so the drugstore stuff is going really well now that's not to say that there is um stuff that i'm finding that's not worth listing so it's going to the consignment store um and then some things of course i'm keeping there are some things that the expiration dates are past now on certain items it's fine with that but others like sunscreen um, I'm not going to list that, but, um, I think they'll take it at the consignment store. It's just passed. I mean, I could probably list it, but again, it was a lower dollar item in the first place. So when it's a lower dollar item and then the expirations pass, it's like, eh, forget it. I'll take it to the consignment store. Um, so again, these are my racks of stuff that is still listed that I would like to get rid of. This is the stuff that's not listed plus what's up in my office. This is stuff that's going to the consignment store in the fall, so it's just going to have to live here for now. Um, I did do some more labeling over here on my lot, so you can see strawberry shortcake, eyeglasses, Smurfs, little people from um, the play school stuff, Disney, John Deere, Vintage Kitchen, Christmas, Peanuts, Garfield, camera. I actually have more camera stuff up in my office. I need a label for this. It's going to be um, fast food uh, toys and then this is just some general stuff I haven't sorted yet but yeah I'm, I'm liking my little lot idea so I still have stuff in my office that is getting that needs to come down here and get put into boxes so anyway that's what's going on so far this morning um, Papa is busy shipping he loves 
to be at the table shipping again. So um, I'm thankful that he can at least um, get back to some of his activities. And we go to the pain clinic tomorrow, so hopefully they'll be able to help him um, more there too. Charlie Pug. Hi, Charlie. <gasps> There's a Lucy Pug. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lulu. And Papa. How you doing, Papa? Okay. You're on camera. Oh. Tell everyone hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. That's their names. Everyone. <laughs> I can't name them all. No. Well, their names are all everyone. <laughs> Everyone one, everyone two. You having fun shipping? Are you getting sore and tired? No. Nope, no. This thing, that thing we had, that plastic thing. Yeah. Fit in there perfect. Oh, perfect. <sighs> Buy vintage. <laughs> Buy vintage, odd size. Difficult to ship. Have to put in a box, and now it's over two pounds going to California. <laughs> I said it was over. A pound and it's going to California, so it's like ten dollars to ship it. Really? I had free shipping on it, and it was on sale for fourteen dollars. <laughs> no, but I can't take that to the consignment store. And sometimes you, you know, I feel like if you take a little bit of a loss on something, at least it was another sale and it keeps your store active. So, whatever, made money on the other stuff. Whoops! Don't don't spill the root beer. <laughs> okay, so it's after dinner, Sunday night, and I have three more eBay sales. Sold this four-pack of these Clearasil um, face washes. They came in that liquidation lot, um, $29.99. These are past the expiration, but I just disclosed that in the listing. They still sold. Um, there is free shipping on this, so uh, probably I'll just have to see what a flat rate um, or a regional rate box will hold. This... A uh, Funko Pop sold for $20.99. This was from when I got those Disney treasure boxes. Free shipping on that too. And then this Woolrich dress. It had so much, so many watchers, so much interest, but yet no one would actually buy it. Finally sold for $13.99. So there's that. But anyway, with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this weekend vlog. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments below. All that really helps um, me and YouTube keep my channel um, analytics happy, <laughs> I guess, any kind of interaction. Um, make sure you're subscribed, of course, and you can hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when new videos go up. So until the next one, thank you so much for watching. Bye.